Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling. Our coverage of the sport continues. The Nike Hot Seat special guest today, one of the best ever out of Oklahoma State. He's certainly had a tremendous career in the UFC, now firmly back in the offices of World of Wrestling Roller Productions. It's Shane Roller. Shane, welcome to the show. Welcome to the Nike Hot Seat. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Scott. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Yet another deadline has passed, and that, of course, being the entry deadline for the 2016 Tulsa Nationals coming up. It'll take place the 14th through the 16th. Let's talk a bit about this because it's the oldest and certainly the most prestigious junior wrestling event in the entire world. It is. It's it's full of history. You know, it's uh, it's kind of been known for being the toughest youth wrestling tournament in the in the country, and it's uh, it. It's it's amazing. We got forty states represented this year, so uh, that just shows you right there that they're coming from all over to to win this title. You know, I talked to uh, Andrew Long yesterday here in my studios, and I said, "Did you wrestle in the uh, in the event, the Tulsa Nationals?" Yes. John Smith, did you wrestle in the Tulsa Nationals? Yes. Uh, Kenny Monday, yes. I mean, it's a who's who historically, and I think kids know that. Number one. But where are you going to get that that number of you know matches, that number of bouts, and uh, compete for a national title? I mean, it's truly wrestling at its best, isn't it? It is, it is, and it's it's amazing just walking around and and seeing some of these guys that have, had wrestled in the past, and some of them that have have won national titles and won Olympic even Olympic medals, walking around coaching these other kids um, in the sport and at these tournaments. You know, the, I don't think there's any other sport that where you can uh, mingle with some of the greatest wrestlers in in that sport just at a youth event. You know, um, they're they're walking around coaching their clubs, and and uh, they've just got you know great great credentials that from you know some of the best ever just right there with with youth kids. The uh, age groups that are going to be competing this year, can you describe the age group and categories? Yeah, we have a, a six and under, eight and under, ten and under, twelve and fifteen and under. We we don't do a high school age group because it's during the high school season, but um, we have those five five different age groups, and then obviously we got um, the the different weights in there, and, and I think there's seventy two total, seventy four or seventy two total uh, weights represented this weekend. Good luck. And that, that, that's that's just the boys. Uh, we're we're, hold, we're holding the first ever girls nationals this year too, and um and and then we also have a novice nationals that that has those age groups as well. In what format uh, or formats are we going to be competing in? Uh, it, it, we'll we'll be wrestling just collegiate style, and there'll be uh, session tournaments, and and it'll be, uh, you know, we'll do our first three age groups first, and and we have two. Two buildings, so we have uh, a building that's right next to our uh, other. Uh, we have two buildings just within walking distance where we'll be holding one building. will ha- have the novice and the girls nationals going on. The other building will have the the uh, prestigious Tulsa nationals. While all the rep freeze decisions are final, there is a protest process and there's a protest fee attached to the process. Does that uh, dissuade people from uh, from protesting results? Yeah, you know, if, if we didn't put a, a fee on there, then then everybody would be trying to protest matches and it just slow down the event. And that's something that uh, my, my parents have been uh, great at. And, and you, you hear from all these other people that come to our events. They just love the way the events ran and um, the, the fluidness of it. We start on time. We, we, we make sure that everything goes uh, with, with no hiccups, you know. Um, and if there are hiccups, then usually the the fan doesn't have to see those you know that those are handled backstage before anybody even notices them so uh, that's one thing that they do really good and um that's one of the reasons for that protest you know if, if we didn't put a fee on it they would just slow the tournament down we talk we're talking with shane roller the event coming up of course the world famous tulsa nationals the 2016 edition you'll be able to watch it on flow as well you'll need to make sure you have your subscription uh, up to date uh, but you'll be able to watch all the different mats and surely all the action that'll take place at this year's tulsa nationals uh, live from the expo square pavilion in tulsa oklahoma temperature down there is what right now 
Oh, it's probably in the 40s right now. It, um, I, I think somebody said it's supposed to get a little bit colder this weekend for the tournament, but uh, it's not. It's not too bad right now. Sun shining, but uh, about 45, I think. You know, people talk about the T-shirts. You guys have had some incredible designs for each of the events that you guys do, whether it's Reno or Tulsa or what have you. Uh, this one is one of my favorites, and you see kids wearing these T-shirts all around the country, uh, and they're they're proud to have wrestled in this tough tournament. Uh, also, you guys give away great awards. Um, <laughs> First of all, I think it's important to be recognized for what you've done. You guys go a little bit overboard on the signs of these trophies. They are gorgeous, quality trophies. Talk about it. Yeah, I mean, the trophies are, are second to none. We, we've kind of established the eagle, and um, we've, we've stuck with it, and we're just kind of getting ridiculous with uh, with the bases that they're put on and, and just making something special for the kids. You know, there's, the parents spend a lot of money to come in and compete, and, uh, you know, flying from Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, I mean, all over the country, 40 states. And wow. and uh, that's something that we're, we're giving back to the kids. And, um, you know, we, we just have great, great sponsors. There's, there's things that we do that we go to the extra level with, as, with flow, you know, make sure that, that the parents can see that don't get to make the trip because it is too expensive, that, that they can still watch their kids wrestle, you know, back in, um, you know, wherever they're, they're at. So, um Flo does a great job at that and making it just like a, a college event, you know. And then also um, our, you talked about our T-shirts. Our Fine Design is, is our event um, merchandiser, and, and they uh, they do a great job with, with putting up the, the T-shirts and making good designs, something different for every tournament so it's not the same thing. You know, kids that come from last year to this event, they're not going to purchase the, the exact same t-shirt that, that has just a different year on it it's going to be a completely different design and and we uh we help them with that each each and every year just making sure we get something that the kids are gonna gonna really enjoy and and as far as blue chip too that they they come in and they do our, our wrestling equipment and they do a great job with that as well and, and what mats are you guys using this year we're using easy flex mats yeah okay, easy flex easy. And, yeah, they're great, great partner for you guys, I think, by the way. And it's just tremendous. Uh, you guys have always been known to do different things. Your father, your mother, uh, you've always thought outside the box and ways to make this unique, ways to make it special, something that they're not just going to remember their record at the event. They're going to re remember the experience. And I find that perhaps the most gratifying. You guys start with the Roller All-Star Clinic. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we, we just um, we, we do a clinic for, before all our tournaments, and and uh, it's it's a way for for them to usually get to to learn some technique, and and I, I usually try to bring someone different in for each tournament. I'll do one a year, and then I'll bring someone uh, different in. Um, I'm I'm still working on on I had a, a falling out with this with the not a falling out. The guy just had something come up and couldn't come to this this event. He's going to be gone, so we're gonna we're gonna be going to um, Looking for someone else still for the Tulsa Nationals. If not, I'll do it. But uh, you know, last year we had M Mark Munoz in, in Reno, and then we we did uh, Daniel Cormier the year before in Reno. So we'll we'll try to bring someone top level uh, that's had success and and uh, just happened to be in in Reno. We had success in in MMA and 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 then also uh, had success in the in the NCAA tournament as well. You signed your pro contract with me on the air. I think you, Johnny, and and um, Rochalt, and yep. there was one other, was it Eric Bradley, I think? Eric Bradley, yes. All yep. signed your professional contracts. On the radio show one year, we happened to be uh, all together. And I believe it was, right. it was there was a fight, and that weekend we were there to participate in that fight to announce it or something. I can't remember the particulars, but um, it was a significant turn for you because it recognized you going from an amateur status at the collegiate level to being a professional training fighter. Um, you know, we go back to when you were little in wrestling in the Tulsa Nationals. Do you still get the same kind of charge providing the same kind of opportunity for these little kids that you were afforded when you were a little? Oh, definitely. I think, I think, um, Plus some, you know, I see see all the different little details that, that my parents put behind the, the tournament to make sure it's special for the kids. And um, they go 
they go above and beyond any other tournament that I that I've been to, and and we I take I, I have a youth club here in in Tulsa Oklahoma and and we uh, we travel around and I haven't seen a seen tournaments yet that ran quite like uh, the way they do it but it's it's a lot of work you know um, that they, they uh, make sure that everybody has a great experience when they come into town. Great experience indeed. Friday, the opening ceremony is sharply at 8 o'clock at Expo Square Pavilion. All age groups, of course. Wrestling is scheduled to get off at 9 o'clock. Uh, and, then it's, uh, and then it's just continual action for the balance of the weekend. The Parade of Champions takes place Saturday night, 6 o'clock. The finals, 7 o'clock. And it is treated, as you said, just like a big college event. There's four boys in this family. The Rollers are very proud. Four boys. You're the youngest. Everybody has worked in the events over the years and had a, a, a personal attachment to it. i got to believe you and your brothers are all real proud of what your dad and your mama built. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's gratifying to be at a tournament and, and just seeing the people's face, you know, especially – Especially late in the, the, those guys, uh, once they make it to the, the finals and, and uh, boy, just seeing the kids' faces and seeing them win a tournament and things like that, there's, there's uh, no better feeling. Our special guest today has been Shane Roller. He's been a friend of ours for a good number of years for a reason. We happen to like the way he competes, the way he walks through life. And he's an awful lot like his dad. When it says Roller Productions over the door, let me tell you what. You can expect quality. It's the world of wrestling. World of Wrestling, indeed. Shane, it's always good to talk to you, man. Was the Nike hot seat uh, uncomfortable at all? No, not not yet. No hard questions yet. <laughs> the only one I would ask, are you completely done fighting? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm done fighting. I have, I have four kids, and they, they keep me pretty busy, so I uh, don't, don't have much time to train with that. And I, and I enjoy it. I've moved on to uh, – I got a 10-year-old boy that I – I help coach, and and I have a bunch of bunch of kids in my club that I love coaching and love love giving back to the to the kids. So it's that's my passion right now. I gotta believe they uh, follow your uh, instruction pretty pretty closely if they know about your MMA career. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't think so. <laughs> the Tulsa Nationals are coming up January. Uh, 14th through the 16th, rich in tradition. Surely it's the oldest and most prestigious junior wrestling event in the world. Over 60 years of tradition un unfolds yet again. Approximately 40 states, over 2,000 athletes from 4 to 16 years old will be in competition for a national title. It is wrestling at its finest as the best in the nation wrestle for the gold, the real national championship. The 2016 full Tulsa Nationals at the Expo Square Pavilion in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Again, our guest, Shane Roller. Shane, my best to your dad. Thank you. Thank you. And actually, I was going to add, add something to that. We, we actually, between the, the novice nationals and the girls and the Tulsa Nationals, we have uh, right at 2,800 kids competing this weekend. Wow, 2,800. That's a whole lot of bouts. It's a whole lot of matches. It is. It I, is. I love it. If I could be there this year, I would, man. I, I can't hardly stand missing it. I want to thank our friends at Defense Soap uh, helping to sponsor this event as well. Keep up with them on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, look for them online as well at worldofwrestling-roller.com. Again, that's worldofwrestling-roller.com. For Shane Roller. And the entire family at Roller Productions, for all of us here at Takedown, it's always a pleasure. We appreciate you watching. Have a good day in the sport of wrestling, everybody.